You're probably aware of the term dibs. But have you ever wondered how dibs started? If you're new to Chicago, it's probably fair to say that you're not new to snow, but you may be new to this. I just call it dibs. Let me tell you its history. Chicago neighborhoods were mostly laid out between 1900 and 1920, and vehicles looked like this, and they were big, and they were expensive, so most people still use horse and buggy. After World War II, that would change with the invention of expressways, and cars became a little more affordable, so families started to own two cars. Fast forward to January of 1967, where a record of 23 inches of snow fell on Chicago. Chicago being Chicago, we kind of took that first day off, but that second day, people still had to go to work, people still had to go to school. And that's when the Chicago Dibs rules started. After digging out 23 inches of snow, we dared you to take our parking spot. Is Dibs legal? Absolutely not. It's a time-honored tradition. If you park in a spot you didn't shovel, we will bury your car the Chicago way. <laughs> <laughs> Sherman Dilla Thomas is educating his TikTok followers with one minute history lessons about Chicago. He now has 30,000 followers and thousands of views for his videos. He joins us this morning to tell us about it. Hey, how are you? Good morning. Ya? Hey, hey, good morning. Good morning, Larry. Good morning, Robin. And I see your, that's your daughter with you and, and she was the one who first got you on TikTok, right? Tell us the story. Well, yeah, so she can't, she, like all the other kids that's sitting in the house doing uh, coronavirus, was on TikTok, and she was encouraging me to do the TikTok dances with her, and I'm not the best dancer, and so she, she wanted to be TikTok famous. I said, Bailey, you know, how about this? Let me feed you Chicago history facts. You read them after no time at all, you'll, you'll be TikTok famous. So she said, no, nah, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to do that. So I said, okay, you know what? I'll do one to try to encourage her. So I did, and uh, in the comments, people seemed to like it, so they asked me to do another one, so that's what got me started. And there's no better feeling than proving your children wrong, so good <laughs> for you. Um, what, uh, you. It looks like you're doing a lot of research. You're putting a lot of time into this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I am. It's uh, the second I get off work from uh, ComEd, I'm, I'm in this office, in one of those books behind you, or I'm at the uh, Air Washington Library. Uh, I'm getting in trouble for using my wife's debit card, uh, getting into like repositories, newspaper.com, trickling.com, <laughs> stuff like that. So, yeah. So, tell us about some of the stuff you talk about. Uh, the, like, you want to do the history of all the Chicago neighborhoods. We did a great one on the history of Streeterville. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's my favorite story. You know, uh, I'm a Chicago guy, like three and three. Uh, I was born down at uh, Old Princess Northwestern, and so you know, going as a kid at the doctor's appointments on Fairbanks Street. Uh, that's so crazy that Fairbanks rightfully owned land after the Chicago fire. They dumped the landfill from the rebuild in that area, and filled up the land. Uh, Fairbanks bought that land, but a guy named George Wellington Street is boat crashed over there, uh, pretty much right now where the giant Hancock building is. And he said, hey, this is my land. And, you know, now we call that area Street View. That's hilarious to me. So, uh, Sherman, let's stop and let's listen to this next TikTok about 1920 taxicab wars. Let's watch. Okay. They say Chicago's a violent town now, but imagine riding home in a lift from O'Hara Airport and all of a sudden an Uber driver pulls on the side of you, pulls out a Tommy gun and opens fire. <laughs> that was Chicago in the 1920s. When Chicago and John Hertz helped found the Yellow Cab Company, he had pretty much bribed his way into being the only cab company that could operate in the loop. The brand new Oak Park Checkered Cab Company had a problem with that. In July of 1918, a row of yellow cab cars was parked outside the Sherman Hotel with their windows down so checker cab drivers threw stink bombs in them to discourage riders. Yellow Cab Company would go shoot up the checker cab company's headquarters and checker cab company would respond in kind. In August of 1920 alone, 10 cab drivers died. Wow. For most of the 1920s, cab drivers in Chicago were doing drive-bys on each other. The taxi wars would rage on for 10 years. After the decade-long war, John Hertz would start another company, the Chicago Way. Wow, you know what I love? Your delivery is so great that it's just like you're talking to someone rather than giving them a lesson. Do you think that's why it works? 
Well, I'm hoping so, and th thank you very much for that compliment. Uh, that's, uh, I appreciate that. Uh, I think that's why it works. I think a little bit of what's going on is that uh, I, I hope, like myself, people are a little bit tired of the negative image that Chicago gets. Uh, yes, there are things going on in Chicago that we need to fix, but uh, you know, people want something light sometime, and so I I'm trying very hard to give as much information as possible in 60 seconds. All right, I, th I think that your, your daughter's name is Bailey? Yes. Okay, she is itching to dance or something. I see her back there. This is your moment, Bailey. What do you want? Is there a move You're that right. you wanted your dad to do that he didn't do? What's the dance you wanted him to do? Well, I wanted him to do a twerk dance. Oh, show us how that works. <laughs> oh, she said it. <laughs> you know? He's like, you're not doing that. Show yeah. us, Bailey. Show us another TikTok dance. Come on. It looks like you're a good dancer. Do the dice roll walk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bailey, good luck. Hey, keep your dad on his toes. Keep him on TikTok, okay? It's good to meet you both. Thanks so much for joining us. Hey, thank you. Thanks, guys. You can follow uh, more history videos on TikTok. Follow him on Instagram at... This, the address on your screen, six figure underscore Dilla. Did I get that right? You did, and the score is six figure Dilla. I'm on Facebook at Chicago Mahogany. All right, thanks guys, take care.